simplify 27 plus a negative 51 minus 18 minus a negative 57 plus a minus 79. Now think about that 18 for a minute. Let's write it down. Is this a positive number or a negative number? Okay, so you know what a negative number looks like now, don't you? Okay, so this is what a negative looks like. It has one negative, doesn't it? Okay, now think about the next term right here. Copy that down. How is this different from this? I mean, other than the parentheses, how is this different from this? Well, this has what? One negative. How many does this have? So you see, this is different, isn't it? Huh? This is entirely different than this. This is a matter of reading. If this number looks like a negative, then this number must look like, since it's different, it must look like a positive. All right? So let's erase this and write this as a positive. Bring down the 27. We know that's positive. Question, is this a positive number or a negative number? Well, I know it looks a little different from this, but it has one negative, doesn't it? So it's not crazy like this one is, huh? So this stays negative, all right? Since this has one negative, then it stays negative. The only one that changed to a positive is when you have two negatives, okay? See how to read that? This reads like a positive, doesn't it? Okay. Now, you have $27 in the bank. You spent 51 You were overdrawn. You spent more money than you had, okay? Now, you're not going to owe 51 because you had 27 You covered part of the debt, but you still owe, what, $24. You have to kind of subtract those to get 24 But you owe 24 Bring down the other three numbers. Now, you owe 24 and now you're going 18 more in debt, so you're farther in debt. You're in debt more money. Bring down the other two. You have 57, you spend 42. You have 57, you spend 42. You have some money left, don't you? Bring down that one. And then you spend 79. You were overdrawn again. You don't owe 79 because you paid off 15 of it, but you still owe 64. 